Extreme Trends presents A $160 million painting gets stolen overnight, but then it appears in a couple's house. That's where the mystery begins. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. A rare incident took place in August of 2017, when antique dealers found a scandalous missing painting from a couple's house. On inquiring, the dealers got to know that the house belonged to a deceased couple. The dealers could no longer investigate the stolen painting. However, the antique dealers still wanted to find out some answers. How did the painting get there? Were they professional thieves, or had some other connections? The investigators were determined to know it all, as they had finally found the missing notorious painting. The Mexican couple Jerry and Rita Alter reached a small town, Cliff, New Mexico, at the end of the 1970s or beginning of the 1980s. Finally, the investigators were able to gather some information regarding the couple. After scrutinizing the whole scenario, it was concluded that Jerry Alter was employed as a teacher in New York and decided to settle in the West after his retirement. Meanwhile, he was also a self-published author and a passionate traveler too. This shows that he was inclined towards the artistic side. Was this the reason behind the stolen painting? The investigators' minds were filled with chaos and they could not breathe without getting to know about the nitty-gritty of this whole case. Although it seemed like an unsolvable case as the couple's background and history did not show any sign of attachment or link to the robbery. In Jerry's self-published book, he calls himself an unquenchable traveler. He traveled to 140 countries, and all the seven continents. This was the level of his desire to travel. His wife Rita was also a literate person and had a strong academic background. She used to teach at different schools in Mexico after Jerry's retirement. The strong educational background of the couple puzzled the investigators even more, and they were on the edge of their seats to find their connection with the painting. The couple settled in Cliff after their children grew up and left for further studies. Their neighbors remembered them as a peaceful and exclusive couple. Nobody was aware of the million dollar painting hidden behind the closed door. Jerry passed away in 2012 and Rita in 2017. The house now belonged to their nephew, Ron. Ron decided to put the house up for sale. Did he know about the painting? The painting was present behind the door in a position that could only be seen when the door was closed. Then Alker, the dealer forked out 2,000 for the estate, including the painting. As some customers saw the painting in his store, they claimed that it belonged to Willem de Conny, a renowned artist. He kept the painting hidden and questioned people on the internet. He was astonished when he discovered how the painting reached Jerry and Rita's house. A robbery took place in the Arizona Museum of Art in 1985. Two people entered the museum during the early hours and the painting was missing ever since. Later on, the museum confirmed that it was the same painting that had somehow landed in Alter's house. The couple seemed to enjoy a luxurious lifestyle even though their salary did not allow them to. Moreover, the couple's journal was found blank the day the painting was stolen. Jerry had also written a book in which a precious jewel could only be seen by two thieves. This might have been his secret confession. The couple was also present in Tucson during 1985, as shown by one of their photographs. All these facts, along with the resemblance of the thieves' sketches to Jerry and Rita, confirmed that they were probably the ones who had stolen the precious painting. Even though Jerry and Rita Alter looked like a reasonably decent and well-educated couple, all these well-supported facts and shreds of evidence could not be denied by anyone. The couple's million-dollar savings also reinforced that they are the ones who stole the exquisite painting. But why? only to put it behind their bedroom door? This was a mystery that could never be solved as none of them were alive to answer the puzzling questions. However, Van Alker felt satisfied after being able to unfold the series of events in a short period. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more heartwarming stories and check out one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing video.